Every year after the NFL draft, something strange happens. The afterglow of the annual NFL arms race gives way to the morning tide of the NFL season. Free agents are signed, draftees selected, and there's only one piece of logistical information left unaccounted for, the NFL schedule release. Scores of employees race against the clock and each other in an attempt to go viral. We sat down with some of these employees to divine the realities of working on schedule release content. Why don't you share some thoughts on schedule release videos as a whole? Well, every year we do these crazy schedule release videos and every year they just get bigger and crazy. I mean, seriously, the charges, they did a anime. It was sick. Anime, what is that? Honestly, I guess it can get tactic. 4 p.m., 4 p.m., 4 p.m. Natalie, other teams. Uh, the Cowboys just posted theirs. Oh, they did Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Is it good? They have Taylor Sheridan. Oh, They're really fun to work on. Honestly, I think the fans like them. The fans like them. Finally, we scratched the surface. Now it's time to pull the thread and see where it takes us. Hey, what's going on, man? Yo, what's going on, brother? How you see doing? the hat? You a Giants fan? We on camera with that? Yeah, we are. Oh, for man, go Big Blue, baby. Come on now. Well, mind if we ask you a couple questions? Ask me anything, man. I'm telling you, I know ball. How do you feel about teams having schedule release videos every year? <laughs> you said schedule, what was that? Schedule release? So like, yeah, schedule release videos. They release their schedule. It appears not everyone is as familiar with the NFL schedule release videos as we thought. We decided to dig deeper. Hey, uh, are you sure you can't see me? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, all set. He's good. Yeah, I feel like these teams just get like a celebrity, they do a parody on a popular movie, or, or like, like the Giants, they just get like an old player to get out there and do it. I mean, can we not use Eli Manning? Like, the guy's busy. Like, let's not use him. Like, the guy's busy. You guys doing anything cool? Yeah, we're doing an anonymous interview. Oh, cool. You guys should do Dune. Like the movie, Dune? Yes, the new one, the major motion picture. It's really not that type of interview, man. Yeah, I mean, I really do worry about the return on investment. And just like that, we were back on the street, pounding the pavement, furtively working ourselves into the weeds. Do you know what schedule release videos are? Yes. Yes. No. Yes, I do. No idea. I have no idea. Sorry. Do you enjoy watching them? Sometimes. Could care less. <laughs> I'm a Texas fan, and I've never seen a schedule release anyway, so... We're gonna find out the schedule anyway, right? I mean, why don't y'all just put a little schedule up with a graphic and, you know... Maybe it could just be a graphic. Yeah, just a quick boom, show us the teams, done. Easy. I don't need a video. If you had to do a video, mm -hmm. what would you do? I'm gonna get everybody here. I'm gonna get Eli in that video. You ever seen Top Gun? Oh, yeah, yeah, Tom Cruise. Yeah, no, no, not Tom Cruise, man. Glenn Powell. Glenn... That's my man, Glenn Powell. Yes, I'm gonna have Glenn Powell on the video. It all started to add up. I decided to talk to my own crew, see what they thought about our findings. I think it's pretty cool. Teams have fun with it. The fans love it. You can blow up on social media, go viral. That's true. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like when they force a sponsor in. We can calm down a little bit. It's, just, it's not like anybody's making Dune. Are you kidding me again with this? Nobody does Dune. I actually prefer the original Dune. Over the that is simply the incorrect Over the opinion. Way ahead of its time. Maybe the NFL schedule release isn't about being cool or funny or going viral. Maybe instead, it's an opportunity to engage with teams' fandoms fearlessly. After all, fear is the mind killer. Well, what do you think? Pretty good. What was that? That's our... Uh schedule release video that I've been working on. You didn't release the schedule. But we can just add that at the end, it's fine. You made fun of half the league. You made fun of other teams, we can't use it. I thought it would be meta, I thought it would be funny. I mean, isn't it? Anybody else? I have an idea. Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Powell. I'm a celebrity. Hey, shouldn't Eli be doing this? What do you want me to oh, <laughs> Wait, what? what, what? <laughs> <laughs>
Week one, nine, eight, Sunday, one o'clock, a week from Sunday. Against the Minnesota Vikings will be the opening game. Sunday, September 15th, Washington Commanders. First one, Minnesota, I'm taking a loss. September 15th, one o'clock at Washington Commanders, loss. Week three, Sunday, 9-22, 1 o'clock. Week three at Cleveland, 1 o'clock, 9-22, September 22nd. Week four, September 26th, at 8-15, Dallas in New York. That game kicks 7-26. Or that game kicks 9-26 Thursday, Dallas Cowboys. Week 5, Seattle, October 6th at Seattle. Taking that as a loss. Week 6, Cincinnati Bengals, 10-13, 8-20. Week 7, 10-20, 1 o'clock, Philadelphia Eagles. Week 8, Monday night, 10-28, October 28th. 8-15 8-15 at Pittsburgh, week 9, Sunday, November 3rd, 1 o'clock, Washington Commanders, week a loss, at Pittsburgh I take a loss too, week 10, Carolina Panthers, November 10th, I'll take that as a win, week 11, by week 12, November 24th, 1 p.m., Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll take that as a maybe. Week 13, 11 28, 4.30, Cowboys. Thanksgiving. Week 14, Sunday, November 8th, uh, 1 o'clock. Week 14, week 14, December 8th, New Orleans Saints, 1 o'clock, and New York. Sunday, December 22nd, 1 o'clock, week 17 TBD against the Colts, and week 18 at Philadelphia TBD. That's CMO Sports.